I'm at it again. I wanted to uh, make a point here. I, uh, when I usually when I make a video, I have a point. Now I'm enjoying my bad habit. I needed to show you guys something, and uh, people need to learn things. This guy learned a hard lesson. He took his truck, I guess, when he couldn't get it inspected before it arrived here to this guy right down the street here. I mean, literally. And this guy did the same thing to me. He put ATF fluid in my power steering pump, okay? I realized I had a leak, and that's why I told you I, I don't like dropping my truck off. I stay with it. Unless it's something major, you're, you're, you got to kind of. There's things, like I said, that I can't do. I don't have a lift, and I wished I did. But when I drop my truck off, uh, I, I always have an uneasy feeling. When I'm getting it inspected or something, I don't drop it off. I stay with it, and they don't open the hood. Because this is the stuff, like before, after I had the new engine put in that, it was out of, out of inspection. So after I got it running, I had to take it for safety inspection. And as I said, it's the biggest con job that Pennsylvania has cooked up yet because it gives people that wouldn't ordinarily have access to your vehicle access. And like when I picked it up, he says to me, oh, by the way, your power steering was low. I filled it. You dumb fucking bastard. You filled it with ATF. You could do that on the older GM trucks, but you cannot put ATF in these pumps on these trucks, okay? That galvan benzene that, that's in the, uh, in the transmission fluid, which is made to uh, actually keep it cool. It's, it's, it, it, the liquid actually has a, 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 it, it's a benzene calcium uh, substrate, and I'm, I'm not sure the ex other exact, it, I know it has PTFE, the, the, the petroleum chemicals and Teflon, but there's a cooling element. These pumps, that's why these trucks, they have a cooler on them in the radiator. And I didn't bring my, I actually have a cooler off of, off of a wreck. Your cooler's in there. Because a lot of people see oil dripping here and they think it's the transmission or they whatever. They, they don't realize what it is. And then, this thing is so filthy under the hood. You wonder why a mechanic gives you a bill. That's another subject in itself, keeping your truck like mine, like a doctor's office underneath. I keep them clean inside and out. This, it's a tragedy. But that's what you're into. And then this is the results of putting ATF fluid in a GM, in the new style GM Sagnol pumps. These are a Sagnol pump, Sagnol design. They're not a Ford. The pump, it actually separated from the shaft. It blew right out. It broke. Because the pump runs with too much pressure. There's actually a sicaline fluid that you can put in these, a thinner sicaline. You want to get the real thin sicaline, okay? Like uh, the 025 sicalines and stuff, and they're very hard to get. Very hard to get. Race shops like me, we have stuff like that, and I don't sell it because it is so hard to get. Um, Unical. I believe is my source. I get I get it from Unical, and there's another company now, a Chinese company that's hooked up with AutoZone. You can, or Advanced. You can get sicaline fluids at Advanced, but they make sicalines for like tractor axles and different things. The, the the riding mower tractor axles are on a sicaline. It's basically a vegetable oil, and it's a non-caustic fluid. And there's also other caustic sicaline fluids. So you really have to have the racing science and you have to spend some years, you know, around professional shops. Because to separate one product, they have so many clone look-alike products, but one product's not like the other product. Okay? This guy says to me about, well, did you, how, how tight did you make the belt? These people were back in the Stone Ages thinking it's an old Plymouth or an old Chevy where you used to set the tension on the belt. I said it has the tensioner on it. Well, what do you mean? I had to show them what a fucking belt tensioner is. Uh, you're talking to these hillbillies up here, it, 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 it's a tragedy. Because you can't even communicate. Because How can you communicate if you don't know what anything is? And then you show it to them. Well, what does that do? I just told you, it sets the tension on the freaking belt. It's like it goes in one ear and out the other ear. It's like it doesn't register up here. And, it, and they get this look, they turn away. Like, I don't want to hear the truth. You can't turn away from the truth. Had a brake lock up. It, it, I, I think I had the emergency brake uh, cable too tight. I think that was my fault. But if it is a caliper, the calipers are brand new. It's not a caliper. It's probably the rubber line. And I was telling him, when was the last time you had the, 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 the brake lines replaced, the rubber lines? I had them all replaced. And then I showed him, I said, this has the original GM stamp. Well, what's that? 
I said, this is the rubber line. This is what I'm talking about. Well, I didn't know what those are. It, it, I, I get uh, I get a mental complex when I talk to people. And that's why uh, I got out of construction because I was going to Lowe's and they were getting dumber by the day. I, th I always tell my story about the, the uh, T-Co's. I said that I, I called in an order over the phone and I expected to pick it up the next morning. Uh, I was gaining speed after coming home from Iraq and I was building a deck for a friend for a couple of dollars, you know, trying to get back in my, my regular uh, state of what I used to be. You know, I'm transitioning from coming from a Holocaust war zone going over to construction. I come in, I had a stack full of lumber on a cart that was like propeller blades. There's your order. I said, where's the joist hangers I ordered? We don't have those. I said, yeah, you do right down there in the end cap. He says, show me. So I walked him down to the end cap in the store, and I said, these are joist hangers. I says, I, I need them for two by eight. Well, these are Tico's. Tico's the fucking company that makes them, you little moron. I have a hard time communicating with these people in these area. Even, like I said, from law enforcement on, nobody has an education anymore. I, I don't know where these people come from, if they're growing up underneath rocks. Um, but these, this guy's father worked on cars back in the 50s, 60s. He doesn't work on anything new himself. And people, all it comes down to is money. They don't care that the parts or a decent part costs a lot of money. And it's hard to get decent parts anymore, believe me. And the stuff has taken forever to get here. And now, like Advanced and the chain stores, they've jacked the prices up through the roof. And they don't have any help to begin with. Well... That was part of being, that's the company's fault. They became this big octopus. And they devoured all these other little companies, okay? And then they hired employees they didn't want to pay anything. Now the employees don't want to show up for work because nobody wants to work for nothing, especially with what things cost today. So advanced uh, auto parts and auto bone, you guys got boned. You can't get anybody. And I'm going to tell you something. Some of the other, some of the other stores, they only have two, three people working there. But ours, like I said, is being run alone by this girl up here half the time. And the people they were hiring don't show up. And the reason why those guys don't show up too, a lot of them, they get belittled because they're, they're, they're not mechanics. They don't know what they're doing. They're looking on that screen, and you're trying to tell them something. I need this type of part, and they, they all they can pull up on there is the, the part there. They don't really have any performance part accessories. Uh, other than the cheap Chinese stuff that they have a corner in it, advanced, and, and so does uh, AutoZone. They have a corner of the store. And it's all that cheap Chinese garbage, the stuff that, you know, the chrome delaminates. There's nothing quality. And I understand it costs companies, even corporations, money to stock a quality part. But that the guy like me, like I'm putting Holly Ann together over here, I'm going to spend the money on quality parts like I did... I got a quality master cylinder. I got a, a, a new, uh, my pump arrived. My uh, power steering pump is here. It's on. I had to put that on the bracket, press it on. I spent money. I got a new blower motor. I got a new master cylinder. I got a new head for it, okay? I, I sent my other head out to get fixed, and I think the head was shit, the way the guy said. So now I'm stuck getting a new head. Um, nothing like getting head, huh? Uh, just not the uh, way I had it in mind of getting head. But anyway, we got a new alternator. So all of the carburation, everything, the lines, everything's getting replaced. The good news is somebody did put brand new backing plates on this. They put brand new rotors on it. They put brand new calipers on it. And you can see the calipers have like no rust. They, they, then they've been on here better part of 20 years. I don't know how a 20-year-old caliper, uh, they, these are brand new lines too. These aren't... Uh, those aren't, uh, those were all changed because there's no corrosion on them. They're only starting to corrode now because it's sitting here apart and I'm waiting for this head to get here and everything and it's getting on my nerves with people like this. This truck left and it came back on a wrecker. He was going to drive it back here and I told him, no, 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 you don't. Okay? This is the results of neglect and people not opening the hood and learning something. I understand you guys, I understand other people, they have other trades, they have other interests. He says he spends his time out in the woods and I told him, I said, I like to hunt and fish, I like to go in the woods. I don't get a whole lot of time to do it anymore, running a small business like this by myself, okay, but I can support myself. It's how I can buy parts for Holly Ann or it's how I can afford my lifestyle or a pack of these things that are killing me. Um, I ask people to 
in their in their hearts I ask you to look under the hood of your vehicle and don't let people other people service it okay I had another incident a while ago it was my own mother's car I took it to a shop and I was distracted talking to another one of their customers, not my customers, to get my vehicles, my mom's vehicle safety inspected. My parents rely on me. And it ended up that they had fluids, like transmission fluid, oil, antifreeze. They had them all in like look-alike um, uh, cans like you'd water your flowers with, like a watering can. And the dumb bastard put oil in my mom's antifreeze reservoir instead of antifreeze. Okay? Those are the things that can happen to you. Uh, they, there's a lot of shops, they have those hoses. One has ATF, one has this, one has that. All they got to do is pull the wrong hose, be talking to their buddy, or have something else on their brain, and you end up with something else in your engine. So learn to check your own fluids, and you tell them when you take those vehicles to get safety inspected, okay, don't open the hood. And if you have to have the hood open, you tell them don't touch anything else other than what you're servicing. That eliminates some of it, and how many of them, again, it goes in people's ears, and one, out, you know, one ear and out the other. I, I can't stop that and prevent that. The only thing I can tell people is, I uh, you know I now have to go um, get it round up a half dozen parts, more fluid, this and that, because he's wondering well, what's his money for. Well, I got to pay for shit, same as anybody else. So so do you. But anyway, he was thinking this was something that I did for uh, ATF fluid. If it's in there long enough, if the pump doesn't fail from it, it's going to eat the seals like it did that, and that's why the the uh, pump shaft actually snapped. That fluid, that ATF fluid, uh, is too heavy. It's too heavy a fluid. And uh, the, the, the viscosity, number one, um, that's probably what happened, is that pump, pump probably went over the winter. And, and finally, when, when I got the new belt and the new tension, and it, and it was, you know, the belt was riding the right way, it, it snapped the pump shaft totally. Because that fluid, that ATF, does thicken up in, in, in the winter. That's because it's combined with the other fluid, by the way. It's an ATF normally doesn't thicken. It's pretty much the same viscosity in the winter. I mean, it does get a little thicker, but you go mixing that with another foreign fluid, like power steering fluid, for instance, you get a chemical reaction, and, and the viscosity of the fluid changes, not to mention the compositions of the fluid. The fluids are totally 90 degrees different. So right now, I got to go out to Harry's salvage yard. Uh, I got to pull some parts, and I got to round up fluids and different things. And thanks for watching my videos, and hopefully you guys are heeding my words about that national emergency coming. Get extra food on hand. Get anything you can. Get anything extra you, can, you have room for. Get it. Canned goods, everything. Thanks, guys.